Hello students, I would be giving a short course on wave optics which is meant for the engineering physics students and BSc students. The course is based on new AST curriculum. It would cover topics like interference, diffraction, polarization, etc. Let us start the course with a short introduction to interference. All of you know, must be well aware about geometrical optics. What does it tell you? The geometrical optics tells you that light travels in a straight line. For example, if I have an obstacle, then and I shine light on the obstacle from the left, I will get a sharp shadow on the screen. This will happen because the light travels in a straight line. Similarly, if I have a slit and then I shine light on that slit from the left, then on the screen I will obtain, you can imagine this slit as a three dimensional circle. So on the screen you will get an image, sharp image of the same size and shape of the slit. This will happen due to the fact that light travels in a straight line. So you will get a sharp image. Now what do I do? I start reducing the size of the slit. What was observed when we do that? If we reduce the size of the slit, let this S be my slit and then what do I observe? We observe that the light spreads. It extends to the area of geometrical shadow and I obtain a pattern like this. At the it's obvious the intensity of light is maximum at the center and it decreases on both the sides. Light spreads. Now this phenomena cannot be explained by geometrical optics. So my geometrical optics fails. I need something else to explain this phenomena. We will come back to this. Now instead of one slit, if I take two slits, that is what Young did. He did one very nice experiment. Instead of one slit, he took two slits. S1 and S2. And then on the screen, what did he observe? He closed first S2 and then when I shine light from the left, from slit S1 light passes and it spreads. So I get the pattern like this. The energy as expected is maximum at the center and then it decreases on both the sides. Then he opened the slit S2 and closed S1. Again, when the light passes through S2, we observe the pattern like this. Now, we open both S1. We can take an example of two windows in a room. If I open one window, I will get some light in the room. And then I open another window, again I will get some light in the room. Now, if I open both the windows in the room, I expect that the light should be like this due to both the slits. But in this experiment, I can also observe the result like this. Now this is a different result. When do I expect this? Where at some points the intensity is more and at other points the intensity is less. This phenomena is known as interference. Now, how do I explain this? As we have seen before that here, when I reduce the slit, the light spreads. So only by the reduction of the width of the slit, 
earlier light was travelling i was getting a sharp image but by reducing the width of the slit i am getting the spread of light this infers that there has to be a, one, any one scale in the problem which is governing this there has to be some scale now in this experiment what is the scale possible in this experiment only we have only one scale that is wavelength of light so if this cannot be explained by geometrical optics if i consider light as a wave then and this slit width becomes comparable to the wavelength of light i get this phenomena because when i consider light as a wave then the two waves from the two slits they superimpose to give me such kind of pattern this is where the wave optics comes into picture this was a very nice result which can be explained by wave optics so in my next lecture we'll try to understand more about interference and how does the intensity of light modifies when we take superposition of two waves thank you